Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyan Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd habata fillah The Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam in discussing with his companions radiyallahu ta'ala anu majma'een about the greatest sin he said ala unabbiyakum bi akbar kaba'ir should I not tell you of what the greatest sin uh, the greatest sin is, the most grievous sin is. And they said, Bala ya Rasulullah. Yes, O Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, Ishraq billah. He said, is committing shirk with Allah Azza wa Jal. Associating a partner with Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. So, Ahabatifillah, it shows us as Imam Muhammad mentioned, he said, He said that the greatest thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded his servants with is Tawheed. And the greatest thing that he prohibited them from is shirk, is associating a partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is why it's imperative for us to have strong understanding of what Tawheed is. What does Tawheed al-Ibad mean? Tawheed al-Rububiya, the Lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tawheed al-Asma'i wa Sifat, the divine names and attributes of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. What does it mean? And what does it mean to distort those forms of ibadah and to violate those forms of ibadah and how does that constitute shirk how does that constitute uh, polytheism in its various forms and this is why it's absolutely critical for us to continue to call to tawheed and to continue to study tawheed and to continue to study shirk and spread it to the creation the knowledge of what shirk is and why it's a violation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's right. That we have to know the haq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we have to share that with others so that they know and they understand what is the right of your Lord. As the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said, Haq Allah ala ibadi an ya'buduhu wa la yushriku bi shayin. The right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over his servant is that he the servant worships him and him alone and associates no partners to him. And we ask Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from kulli su wa makru and bless us with ilm al-nafi wa ruskin tayyib wa amal al and bless us uh, with knowledge of tawheed and to uh, practice tawheed and protect us from shirk in its various forms and manifestations. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.